Uh, hello, Mr. Fisher, are you there? Yeah, yeah, how are you doing? Uh, we're doing fine. My, your old friend Simon the Boson is sitting here. I love here. Oh, yeah, great, great. Good to hear you. It's, it's been a long time since you met. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's been years long. almost. <laughs> <laughs> right, century. Do you remember this time when you were together in Reykjavik? How do you remember it? Oh, yeah, we had a wonderful time. And then he visited me out in uh, Pasadena, too. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. It was a fantastic time. We went together all over. Remember? Yeah. Well, you, know, there. you uh you know, you, you visited the stinking USA and you, you got mocked right away, right? Right. In San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, it's I yeah, like that, uh, you in the US, no? Right. Yeah, you're lucky, lucky to get away uh, alive, huh? Yeah, I was lucky to get out of the lousy because they had knives and, and they really I was going to finish me off, and yeah, yeah. thanks to my judo training, it saved my life, and it's good for people to train judo, I think, yeah. especially policemen. Yeah. Mr. Fisher, you haven't played chess publicly since 1992 or 1993. Is there any possibility of you playing again if in public? Uh, Fisher Random, I don't play the old chess anymore. You know, the old chess is dead, it's been played out. So you would like to play random chess? Fisher Random chess. Yes. But there have been uh, news that you m might have been playing on the net, internet. Is that true? Not true. That's a lot of bullshit. That's Jewish lies. They want to distract people from all the crimes they've committed against me. Well, uh, uh, Michael Short said that he's met somebody on the net who could have been you. Well, he can say whatever he wants. Right. Yes, but do you follow chess at all? Uh, I, I follow the old chess, I follow the, all the prearranged matches, like the last Kramnik, uh, the Kirk Kasparov match, yeah. Yes, and, and how do you find, what's your opinion of what is happening in chess right now? It's well, all, you, at the highest level, it's all prearranged, move by move. It's all prearranged? It, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it boring, though? No, you know, let me explain something about prearrangement. Uh, what is your name? My name is Egil Halgason. Ed? Ed? Egil Halgason. Egil Halgason. Yeah, just call me Halgason, that's all right. Halgason. Yeah. yeah, let me explain something about prearranged chess. You know, in, in chess we have something called problems, or etudes, right? Which is, let's say like Carl Banco, he'll create a very beautiful in-game position, right? He'll mm -hmm. say white to play and win, or black to play and draw, or whatever, right? And it's, you know, it, everybody knows it's a problem, and it's very interesting, and you can learn a lot. And I have no objection to that. It's made up, though. See, the position may never have occurred in a real game. Uh -huh. Now, you have the same thing now in chess, where you have very interesting, beautiful games, pre-arranged games, being created by very intelligent players, by who are, who are, many of them are very good chess players, working with computers, working in teams. They create very beautiful games. And these games are very interesting, and you can learn a lot. And I have no objection to people creating games, but they must say this is a prearranged game. They must not claim that this theater, these games that they are playing, uh, which have been prearranged move by move, are real games that they're finding the moves over the board. This is my objection, you understand? Yeah. But well, that's that's fine. I've learned so much from these prearranged matches and all these cooked up notes. They're wonderful. But, they, but they're fake. They, they're, 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 they're fraud. They must say that it's prearranged, you see? Doesn't the, I chess, just put doesn't the chess would need a genius like yourself to come and, and just break this up? Yeah, well, I was going to do a book about the first prearranged Karp of uh, Kasparov match, 84-85. But the goddamn Jews have stolen my entire um, uh, file on that. I had, uh, I had several boxes full of books on that. The two, two, I mean, that's among, they stole hundreds of boxes of my stuff. They have stolen all of my chess library. They have stolen my safe. They have stolen the contents in them. They have stolen my file cabinets. They have stolen my statues, all my chess sets, all my correspondence, all my fan mail from Iceland. You remember when I played Iceland in 72? Yeah, yeah. At the end of the, at the, end of the, the, the event, uh, Schmidt gave me this little, like gold, gold, uh, gold plated, or uh, gold painted, or whatever metal, Fide metal of the World Championship. You remember that? Yes. Even that they've stolen. Can you imagine? 
But this is something that happened in the United States while you were away, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Well, you have to understand, I'm under indictment in the United States. They issued a federal arrest warrant for me. Yes, I know. They want to be about that. For 10 years, well, the United States is controlled by the Jews. It's a filthy, dirty, rotten country in every way. And it's always been a filthy, dirty, rotten country. And you, in Iceland, should break diplomatic relations with the U.S. If they refuse to close their embassy, you physically close it. And the same, you should close down the base in Kessler, kick the fucking Americans out once and for all. Would you, would you like to go back? Base, one second. That base in Kessler is a magnet for a nuclear bomb. You know that? What the fuck do you need the U.S. and your country for? Tell me, would you like to go back to the United States or not? Is I would like to go back when the Zionist dictatorship has been overthrown. Because uh, there's no question they will put me in jail uh, for the rest of my life. Or they would, I think even this jail stuff is basically a cover. They want to kill me when I go back. There's no question about this in my mind. Yeah, but can you tell us where, you're, where you have been staying for the last few last years? Oh, yes. I have been in Hungary a lot. I've been in Germany. I've been the last couple of years. I've been in Japan a lot of the time, in the Philippines, Hong Kong. Uh, I'm here in Japan. I'm working on a, a project. I'm trying to complete my chess clock. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you need a good life there? Are you, are you happy there? Yeah. In Japan? Yeah, I'm, I'm happier than being in an American jail, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some people do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Sorry for I don't, don't want to go into that, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you, you were such an idol. In, in America, you were, you were a big hero. You, you were one of the icons of the 20th century in America. Don't you think they might be a bit disappointed in you? Who's they? Well, the American people. Well, what the fuck do they know? They just know what their Jewish uh, uh, media uh, masters uh, uh, feed them in their filthy lying uh, publications, or, you know, their filthy lying TV and magazines and newspapers and books. What do Americans know about anything? Yes. Uh, but, but, for example, a country like Iceland, would you, if, if, I, if I offered you, say, a million dollars, ten million dollars to come to Iceland and play a match with, with uh, Sanchez Champion, would you, would that be a possibility, do you think? Uh, well, we would like to Well, what is it, a million dollars or ten million? <laughs> ten million. Ten, ten million? Well, that's that chess. Is. I don't play the old chess uh, anymore. Uh, I, I play the Fisher Random, see. I, I don't play the old chess anymore, period. Yeah. So that's, that's period. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm finished with the old chess. It's, it's rotten to the core. Yes? Yeah. Uh, if you know the truth about the old chess, you'd be, you wouldn't have any interest in it either. Well, it's, it's not being played by, by boys who know computers very well, isn't it? Yeah, but, I, okay, that's legitimate to, you know, but, but it's not legitimate to play all these for your dreams games. And, and that, that is what chess is all about at the highest level now. It's all for your age. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's for your age. You should, somebody should ask Kasparov about my charges. That his first match with Karpov was prearranged move by move. Every single move, every single game was prearranged. This 84-85 match. Somebody should ask him, record his answer when he answers it live, when he answers it live, only live, and then put this uh, through a lie detector. You will see he's lying through his rotten teeth. Yes. He's a goddamn liar, Kasparov. He's a criminal. And, and so this is your opinion of, of world chess today? Right, right. Yeah, it's been my opinion for a long time. You know, uh, I, I, you know, I have a lot of interviews on the internet, internet. I go into all of this prearrangement stuff and all of the crimes the U.S. government and world jewelry have committed against me, all the robberies, all the persecution, the arrest warrant. I have the photocopies of the arrest warrant and so much material. I'd like to give the uh, internet site, if I may, so everybody in Iceland can uh, go there. Oh, you're welcome. I understand you're very, uh, you're, 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 you're very high tech there, and you have a very high percentage of people on the web, right? Internet yeah. people, okay? So here's the address: uh, http colon slash slash home dot att dot ne dot jp slash moon slash fisher. Uh, can I repeat it again? Yes. HTTP colon slash slash home dot att dot ne dot jp slash moon slash fisher. Uh, and uh, fisher is spelled F-I-S-C-H-E-R. Yes. 
So uh, I really like it. And also, you can uh, give me your comments there. And I have my own personal email address there. And a lot of files. And, as I say, the arrest warrant. And uh, just, just so much material about this uh, robbery, this mega robbery of my stuff in the United States in, in, the, in storage, which is probably, in monetary terms, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, robbery in the history of the United States, and it's totally illegal, by the way, because it's a violation of, I mean, among other than many reasons, it's a violation of the U.S. Constitution. So you're meaning, are you telling me because there was a warrant out for your arrest, they confiscated your well, no, the press, and, and, you see, I, I sent the fax to Beacons, and they refused to answer me. The press is giving out different stories. One story is that it was taken because I owed tax money. Another story is it's taken because I owed several hundred dollars, if you can imagine, in storage fees and so on. All lies. But uh, I just want to read something here from the Constitution, if I may. This uh -huh. is uh, the U.S. Constitution, which incidentally is very hard to get. The Jews don't want people even to get the, the, the Constitution of the United States. And this is the, um, let's see, the Fifth Amendment right here. The Fifth Amendment says, No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia. When, oh, one second, let me just turn the light on here. What, okay. Okay. Uh, let me start that sentence again. Okay. Uh, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall he be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself. Now, here's the key part now nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Yes. Nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Now, due process of law, if you look it up, that means a, a, a legal proceeding. So you, you think you've been the victim of a judicial miscarriage? No, I think there has been no judicial proceeding at all. And, and, and anyway, it's a, it, it, how can there be a judicial proceeding without notifying me of it? I, there is, I don't believe there's been any judicial. I don't think the U.S. government wants a judicial uh, proceeding because at this time I'm under indictment, right? And everybody will say, well, uh, that's, that's the government robbing his stuff. You understand? Yeah. So they uh, just have simply blanked, bl uh, blanked it out uh, what happened and uh, let the public uh, use their imagination rather than, than, than lock themselves into any particular one story. You understand? But, 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 I want to go on now. There's another place here. This is the 14th Amendment. Uh -huh. this, this, is, this is incredible because the 14th Amendment virtually says the same thing. Let me read this. Uh, <clears throat> it says... Um, this is uh, section one. All persons born or naturalized in the United States, that's me, of course, I was born in the U.S., and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, or shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Now this is very interesting. They're saying virtually the same thing twice. Why do they have to, why do they, why do they have to repeat the same thing, that people shall not be deprived of their property without due process of law? Obviously, let me explain that. Obviously, the United States is controlled by the Jews, and the Jews simply do not abide by this law. You understand? So they, even though they put it in the first time, the Jews continued to grab people's property without due process of law. So they put it in the second time, you see, in the, in the Second Amendment, but it didn't do any good either. The, but Jews, but have but lust, the Jews have an insane lust for other people's uh, property, for other people's work, for uh, uh, other people's the rights. They are parasites. They're they they motherfuckers. They 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 I don't like this kind of language on my show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, do you have any, any intention of, of, of having your indictment, uh, having the, the, the situation corrected? Do you know that some Icelandic chess players actually went to the American Embassy in Reykjavik to speak on your behalf some years ago? Oh, that was nice of them, yeah. But it's like spinning in the wind, you know. 
Well, they did. They weren't successful. No, they weren't. They're not successful. Look, the Jews have got an infamy. You know how many times I beat the dirty Jew out there, Mr. Ryer? Uh, I must warn you again, please. Is that that dirty? Is that a, is that a, is that a four-letter word, dirty? No, 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 okay, okay. But, but, but I'd like to know if, if you... How many to... times did I beat the Jew, Arthur Biscayer, in a row? He's a former U.S. champion, one of the Jews' best chess players in the world, a grandmaster. How many times did I beat that goddamn Jew in a row? You, you beat a lot of... Yeah, how many, games, just take a guess. how many games did I beat him in a row? Guess. Uh, yes. I don't know. It's never been published in any book. You won't find it. Because the Jews control the, all the books everywhere, all the magazines. It hasn't been published anywhere. You know how many times I beat him in a row? No drawers in between. How many times? Ten times. Fifteen times. Thirteen. I don't know. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the last time we played. We didn't play it. Thirteen times in a row. It's never happened where a Jew grandmaster has been beaten thirteen times in a row. You beat yeah, right. that six times in a row. You beat yeah. Petros six times in a row. No, I beat Don Petros. I beat uh, Time Warner. Another two, 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 six times in a row. Yeah. But don't you miss these times, Bobby Fischer? You, you are. No, I don't miss them because I have outgrown the old shit. No, I don't look back at it at all. No, I don't miss it at all. No. I'm interested in today. Yes, but the last time you played in, was in Yugoslavia in 1993, I think it was. Yeah. Do you you played for quite a sum of money? Do you and that's because that's the reason why you were invited by the U.S. government. Do you feel any remorse for doing that? No, of course not. Look, that goddamn uh, uh, this war that I was invited. It's not even a war. It's just uh, an executive order signed by. Uh, then President uh, was it George Bush Sr., you know, uh -huh. not even a law. It's quite an illegal executive order he signed because it didn't go through Congress. Or, 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 you know, the U.S. is actually just, is just, just a vicious dictatorship. Most of the things are settled now by executive orders. It's, com it's completely a violation of the Constitution. Yeah, but my first match, he played you, and he never had any trouble. Of course not. Neither did my second Tory. Nobody had any trouble. Nobody. Only me. Only me. They want to put in prison for 10 years. They have been, uh, do you know? Do you know that the U.S. government has given my name uh, to Learning International as their trademark? Do you know this? What is my name worth? Billion dollars? What is it worth? It's worth a fortune. They've given Bobby Fisher teaches chess to Learning International. It's, got, it's their trademark. The U.S. government. Now that shows you the hate and maliciousness of the Jew-controlled U.S. government. And this is not just a theoretical right. They've already come out with the CD-ROM, Bobby Fischer teacher said, giving me nothing, making millions. Also, they've stopped paying me now, since I've been talking about the CD-ROM ripoff, they've stopped paying me for the book, Bobby Fischer teacher says, which uh, they published. So it's one crime after another. I get nothing for any of my chess books now, nothing. I haven't gotten a, uh, no statements, no money, nothing. I, uh, also, the movie, Searching for Bobby Fischer, I get nothing, zero. Nothing for me. Oh, against my permission, nothing. This was a popular movie, Searching for Bobby Fischer. Yeah, oh, and now it's in a DVD. I have it right here in front of me. Amazon.com is selling a DVD version that's in $24.95. So they have already made probably over $100 million, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars on this movie, Searching for and they in, Bobby Fischer, and they intend to make hundreds of millions more. Yes. Are you broke? You know, no, I'm not broke. No, I'm not broke. But considering all the money I have generated, I have, you know, a few million dollars. I don't consider that a rich person at all. When you consider the amount of money that my name and, and, and all the things I've done has generated, nothing. Yeah. Right. You know, there's, there's this movie, they're making a fortune. To totally illegal. And now the Learning International has is, is, is stolen my name. The, the U.S. government has given them uh, this is their trademark. Can you imagine this? But isn't it in your power, Mr. Fisher, to change this yourself? Say if you can't make a, 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 a great cut, you, you're a genius. I, I read somewhere that you have an IQ of, of 100 in the 180s. Uh, that's phenomenal. You, you, you can do so many things. But, but isn't it in your own power to come back and, and assert yourself? Well, I'm asserting myself right now on your program. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you mean, assert myself. Chess two to tango and chess two to play a game of chess. Like you don't always just uh, sit down and play against myself, do you? <laughs> well, you could pick someone. You could pick some Icelandic champion. All right, all right. I'm interested. Yeah, but you know, we'll get a get a the sponsor. Yeah.
Maybe if we get the sponsor, we would love to have you over. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure Simon would be. Yes, of course. I'm, I'm just saying, but Fisher Random, you know, not the old chess. Right, right. Mm, Fisher yeah. Random, yeah. Yeah, of course. That, that's, the, that, that's the game where you... Can you explain to me just a few, a few words? Yes, uh, uh, I think the rules are on the internet also. Uh, it, it's basically the old chess. It uses all, everything is the same, except a computer shuffles the back row of each side. But they, they both are shuffled into the identical uh, position, you see? Symmetrical, like in the old chess. Except there's just a couple of conditions. One rook is to the left of the, of the, of the king, and one rook is to the right of the king. And one bishop uh, will be on a light colored square, and one bishop will be on a dark colored square. And it's 960 possible starting positions. Yeah. And you can castle on either uh, side, just like in the old chess. I mean, very similar to the old chess, not just, not just like in the See, before you castle, the position may be different, but after you castle, you castle into the same position as the old chess. So the point is, you have 960 starting positions. I think it's too much theory for any human being to, to, to try and organize in his brain, you know what I mean? Just too much. It's a very complicated, just this one starting position. But what will it be like if people have to try and learn theory from 900 different, uh, 960 different starting positions, right? So it won't be pre-programmed and boring. Well, right, right. There will be more game of skill, and it will be more fun, and hopefully it will cut down on the uh, cheating too, or on the pre-arrangement, you know? Well, that, well, then why don't we try to put that up in Reykjavik one day? Okay, let's do it, do it, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, you should really do it. I'm definitely willing, yeah. For, uh, if, uh, for if I get my condition, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Uh, how much money would you, would you require? Do you know? Well, uh, what you said is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that it. I thought that it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I'm so sorry he would love to meet you again. He, 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 uh, yeah, I want to meet him again. I want to meet his uh, twin brother, too. I yeah. still remember his twin brother, like one eye, and one eye is a different color from the other, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, you remember a little girl? Yeah. <laughs> you remember a little girl you were having on to? Oh, I did yeah. a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are you looking at your little girl? Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, she had a daughter. I thought you meant that stewardess and her girlfriend, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she had a daughter, you know, who should be 12 years old on your birthday, you know, right? Nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so you, uh, no, I don't feel like a family, you know, but you have a great country, uh, very civilized uh, people, you know. Uh, right. Yeah, you and, uh, and I was I would be willing to see you, or looking forward to that, I don't know. Just, 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 just get out of NATO, get better. out of NATO, close down the U.S. Embassy. Kick right. out the, the U.S. ambassador, close yeah. down the base in Keflavik, get out of NATO, get out of the U.N. But this is a problem for you, Mr. Fisher, to travel to, to Iceland, other NATO country. Well, you'll be forced to, uh, well, have you over. That's a well, I don't know. I've been to Germany and Italy. They're also NATO countries. So, and Japan yeah. has also got a lot of military bases. The U.S. Yeah. Hasn't, yeah. hasn't got the guts to touch me. No, I don't Apparently, think. they haven't got the guts. No, I don't think so. They haven't got the guts. They're full of shit. John, John Ashcroft, if you're listening... John Ash, Ashcroft, if you're listening, you're a son of a bitch. That's not full letter. You're a son of a bitch. Well, uh, 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 there was a vote on the internet. I saw uh, on an internet site, they were voting on who was stronger, you in 1972, or Gary Kasparov in his prime, which is past now. Kasparov? <laughs> 2-1 by 70%. How can you compare me with a crook? I've never prearranged a game in my life. This Kasparov, most of the games he's played in his life were prearranged. Most. Not some. Most. Mm -hmm. Most. Yeah. Do you, play, do you take pride in your achievements? Yes, I do, yes. Because everything I've got, I got the fairway, no prearrangements, no deals, nothing. I don't think anybody else can say that. I don't think there's a... Somebody told my friend Barbera, who passed away recently, sadly, who uh, was a, a Russian trainer, I think from the Caucasus, I forget where, and he said, Fisher is the only honest chess player since World War II. Oh. Yeah, well, the Russians certainly cheated a lot way back then. They cheated a lot of them. Hey, hey, not then. They cheat more oh. today because it's easier to cheat today. It's easier to create uh, uh, plausible prearranged games now working with computers because the computer takes care of the tactics for you, you see? It's much yeah. easier to prearrange you know, infinitely easier today. I think you can prearrange a game a thousand or ten thousand times faster today than before. 
Chinese. Are you in contact with anybody in the chess world, in the chess community at all? Uh, am I in? Yeah, yeah, sure. So like Boris Papke? No, I haven't been in touch with him a long time, no. No. He just How do you remember him to me, what? How do you remember? You played in 1992, how do you... What status has you had in your mind? Oh, he's a very great chess player, but he's a crook like all these other, other Russian Jews, you know. <laughs> well, Mr. Mr. Fisher, my show is, is almost over. Yeah, yeah. It, it's been a, a pleasure having you here. Okay, okay. And it seems you will continue to be the same controversial figure you have been for the for the last decade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that will not change. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, 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 you know, it's, I've been trying to get on the Iceland the radio for uh, over a year and a half. I, oh, you know, a year and a half ago, this was about the spring or summer of 2000, I called up to your president, you know that? Right, yes, I know. And I asked to get, if he could help me to get on uh, the radio in your country, and he said he would try, but he said, he, you know, this, this is not a dictatorship, it's a democracy, I can't tell the media what to do. And I never heard from anybody, see? So he thought that president couldn't get me on, but Sammy Paulson did it, so... Sammy Paulson has tried it. Yeah. <laughs> he he the president couldn't or wouldn't uh, get me on the radio in Iceland because probably the U.S. ambassador told him, yeah, this guy's bad news, keep him off the air. We don't want him telling the truth about the U.S. What a rotten, filthy Jewish company it is. You know, speech. Bobby, you're already, you're already well known here. Nobody thinks badly of you, you know. You oh, did you. a great thing in... And I know there's a lot of anti-American feeling, a lot of resentment about the, that uh, Kesselvik. It's a real yeah. shame that, you know, that, that, that Icelandic air, airlines have to fly into a U.S. base. What a humiliation. Yeah, yeah. Just close down yeah, the If they refuse to go, if they refuse to go, send them some letters with anthrax. Should they get the message? <laughs> That's a bit how you think it is. I'd like to, just to finish, I'd like you to say farewell to Sammy. Okay, Sammy, wonderful to talk to you again, and uh, I hope this is just uh, the beginning of, uh, you know, renewing our uh, friendship. Well, uh, likewise, thank you very much. I, I'm looking forward to... Mailing you, talking to you, and and and. I want to get on other radio yeah. programs, and uh, other radio programs in Iceland. I want to go on for a much longer time, hour, okay. two hours, even four or five hours. I don't care okay. how small yeah. the station is in Iceland. Yeah. I want to get on. I want to talk. I have a lot of things to say. We just scratched the surface now. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Thank you very much, Bobby Fisher, in Japan. Thank you. Okay. You very Just much. I want to say goodbye to everybody in Iceland. Thank you. Nice, nice to talk to you again. Thank okay. you, Bobby. Bye. Bye, bye, bye friend. Yeah.